Hi guys, this is a video tutorial for a fiancé, I saw her. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I don't have any tabs for this, but I sh I'll explain every step of the way. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't complete the whole song actually, because yeah, I never had a tab for it. I just watched the guitarist hands and I just played along with it, so yeah. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna divide it into three parts. So the first part is, I'm gonna show you. So that's the first part guys okay now to get started the first thing you do is to pluck the second string then the first string then you put your middle finger on the second fret first string so then you have two choices here it's either you you hammer it on on the fourth fret on the first string like that and play it along with the sixth string or you can do you just press okay after that you go back to your second uh, to your second fret on the first string so now you let go first string now it sounds like this as the first one okay now moving on to the second one um you put like an a if you're a beginner you probably know the chord a a and you move it all the way to the fourth fret, right? And you put your index finger on the fourth fret, sixth string. And you plug all of them, the sixth, fourth, third, and second string all together. So it sounds like this. Okay? After that, you pluck the um, fourth fret, uh, fourth string. I mean, then you go up with your middle finger. You put um, the first string, second string, and th okay. So okay, you add that. Then after that, you go to chord A. It's like a normal A. Then you press, you plug the um, the fifth, fourth, third, and second all together. Then do the same thing. Okay, so it sounds like this. Now, moving on, um, after this, you form this type of chord, but I'll show you. Um, second fret, fifth string, index finger, um, sec still second fret, but then the third string, then your pinky on the fourth fret, um, fourth string. But you just play the fifth and second, but you play all the way down. See, I'll just show you. So you pluck this two, then you go all the way down from four, from four, three, two, one. So 
sounds like this. Yeah? Mm. Okay, after that, you go back to your first step, so. So. Now, next part. After that. So to form that chord, you put a bar chord on the fourth fret. And you put your pinky on the seventh fret, I believe. Yeah, seventh fret. Yeah, seventh fret first string, first string. And you play sixth string, a third, second, and first all together. Yeah, it has. Most of the chords in this song has four. Right? Like this sounds too dull for me with the two, so I just do that. So, so. Okay. After that, you. After performing that chord, you play the third string, second string, then the sixth string. So. After that, you move here. Now, this is the eighth fret. Eighth fret. Third and second, third and third string, and you play it with the fifth string. So it's one, two, three, but you slide it to the ninth fret, like so. After that, you you go back. Your index, your in, uh, your middle finger stays the same here. Your index finger, however, goes here. So you play the second, you play the third and first string. So like that. Then you go back two steps back. Okay. One, two. Right. So it sounds like this. Right. Okay. Now, um, so this next step. So form this chord. I know there's a lot of bar chords, yeah, but it's it's gonna make you it's make, gonna make it sound even better. You do it with parkour even though you're not plucking the holes all the strings it's still gonna make it good okay so bar chord in the second fret okay um third and first string on the fourth fret you pluck you pluck the fifth string third and first second and the first yeah so fifth third and first then you go back to the third then you move your pinky to um, the fifth fret. So hmm. then you just open it, and that means you're playing the second fret. So. Now, after that, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, after that, you go back to, um, to, let me see. Okay, 
this is a new one but you're using you use this rarely this this one it's basically the same thing as this but you're adding one more bass note here on the how oh, is this first fret third string and all the same same thing same thing Okay, like that. So after it's the same thing. This is the uh, another part. Listen, the part that I was telling you, uh, it's like verse. First verse, second verse, and chorus. We're still in the first verse, okay? And you might be confused with the part part, what I'm, say what I'm saying. I'm just dividing it, okay? After, so after this. Right, that's all the same. Now, you put go there. On the fifth fret, um, third string, yeah? You play along with the fifth, fifth string. Then you play the second string. Right? You slide two steps down. Right? So fourth fret, fourth fret, um, third and second string you play it with the fifth strings too okay so from the sixth fret you go down the fourth fret okay then you go This actually this timing is a bit different from the original ones because I just made it up but it sounds it sounds good still. So Yeah. So sorry I'm taking it. this is a hard part to explain actually. Put your um, index finger on the fourth fret, sixth string. It's still the same thing. You're just sliding it all over the place. One more time. I'm gonna show you this one. So after this part, I'm gonna show you slowly that. Dun, 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 dun. Got it? This two strings, the f um, what's this string? The third string and the sixth string. Okay. So by that you just get a guess on the timing, but it's gonna be based on you. I don't know how to explain it any further. After that part, you go to you just pluck. You uh, avoid you don't pluck the fifth string, but you pluck all the other strings. Then and that's um, bar chord on the second fret. Then you place this on the third fret, um, third string and the first string, and you play the same thing, but you don't move all of them here. You just move your pinky. Right? 
So. So after you go to that part, I actually pluck one more string, which is the fourth, fourth string, I think. Yeah. See that? So you let go, and it's just an open note again. And guess what? It's the same thing again. So now this is the first two, okay? The second part, we're done with the first part, okay? So this whole video tutorial, I'm gonna do everything. So I'm, I'm not gonna leave any parts, so it's, it's just one video, okay? Bear with me. Um, after that, it's still the same. So, before we go to the next part, I'm gonna show you the everything that we just did, okay? This is the first two, okay? So... Same part again. Now this is where the difference comes. Instead of going back to the first to the first part, this, right? You end with this. That's the only difference with this verse. So yeah, it's easier for you. I know how it feels where every verse is different, but this is just the same. Just the ending is different. So be happy with that. Mm -hmm. 